make the clips that I needed for this. this process that you're doing and downloading and then converting, does that uh, in any way alter uh, the video that we're about to look at here uh, in the next few minutes? No, it does not. Okay. And so once you were able to do that, tell me what your next step in the process was. The next step in the process, I brought it into my video editing program, which allowed me to take the one point in time uh, to another portion in time. In, in the video and make the appropriate clips that I needed to. Okay, and so you were going to preserve uh, the uh, entirety of that particular clip as well as try to uh, have uh, individual clips of an event? Yes. Okay, and does that process in any way alter uh, the video itself? No, it does not. Okay, you're just uh, uh, doing viewing uh, clip by clip in one of these particular segments, correct? Yes. Okay, what was your next step? Um, from there, I brought it into the, a video uh, player program, which I knew allowed me to be able to step um, through the available frames, as well as loop the uh, segment that I have. Now, you, uh, you were under the understanding that it was being viewed by the government under just the regular Windows Media Player, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and did you try to view it uh, in that particular player versus the player that you're, you just discussed? I did. Okay. And uh, when you viewed it under the Windows Media Player, was it the exact same uh, video that you viewed on this other program? Well, in fact, when I initially opened it through the uh, default player, it, um, it, had, uh, it was like a black and white. Um, it, it looked different from the, uh, the one we received as the... Uh, other if video. I may, I, I would like to have an opportunity to to uh, board the Ireland's witness. All right, I'm going to let him finish trying to yeah. put in his foundation first. Just once he's finished his foundation, when he goes to Crawford, I'll allow you to to board the Ireland. Let's uh, let's explain to the court uh, the differences uh, in the viewing of that video in a Windows Media Player versus uh, the software that you chose to use. Um, my knowledge uh, told me that it was playing it improperly. Um, when I played it in the other, which is actually Windows Media Player Classic, it, it played it, it, it identical to the, uh, the other video that we have received. Okay, and so initially you played it on the uh, Windows Media Player that uh, was provided within the hard drive itself. Correct. Then you played it uh, within the Windows Media Player Classic, which is same company, just an upgraded version of it? Uh, yeah, it's a, it has usually different codecs that will play more different types of files. Okay, and then you viewed that Windows Media is Classic with the video uh, software that you used and they were identical? Correct. Okay. Um, and the only difference between the non-classic and the software that you used was just a clarity issue. Uh, it was playing it properly, and I could see that it was now working. Okay. Now, <clears throat> in addition to that process, uh, did you do anything else uh, in reference to? And I'm going to show you if I can approach you on it. You may. I'm going to show you what's been marked as Defense Exhibit Number Six. I'm going to show you what's been marked as defense exhibit number six and tell me if you recognize that composite exhibit. Uh, yes. What is that composite exhibit? These are the, uh, the copies of the disks that I had made. Uh, after I made the clips um, and made the files, I burnt them onto disks. Okay. And did you get to view those as compared to the downloaded ones that you had in the computer? Yes. And were they one and the same? Yes, they are identical. I believe that you had an opportunity <coughs> also to view a disk that was provided by the state attorney's office. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And did you compare that particular disk? No, no, we're going to mark this, but we're going to have to be very careful how we mark it as defense exhibit number seven. You have a sleeve for it? Um, we have that sleeve on. Uh, but if we can, I can, uh, I can 
I got extra sleeves in my office. Actually, we have a tech person here. To, uh, do we have extra sleeves that we could secure? No, let's not write on it. We'll get it. We'll get a sleeve. All right. Sleeve will be here. In so that's the one that's going to become seven. Seven. Okay. I don't think you have to wait for the sleeve. Okay. Yeah. Um, in in reviewing this particular, which will be number seven, defense exhibit number seven, did you compare the, that particular disc to the other discs and the hard drive that you had downloaded? Yes. Were they all one and the same video? Yes, for the most part. The, uh, this one was, um, it appeared that it was screen captured, which again wouldn't do anything different. It would just be a different approach to getting the video playable in a different media player. Okay. I tend to the windows. Okay. Okay, please court judge. Counsel. Is it Mr. Saga? Am I pronouncing that correct? I'm sorry? It's Sacco. Sacco, can you spell that for me, please? S A C C O. Sacco, okay. Thank you, Mr. Sacco. Uh, you indicated that you have a general business degree from the University of South Florida? Correct. And you said you graduated there in 2007? That's correct. Do you have any formalized training in computer forensics? No. Have you ever attended any type of computer forensic classes? No. Do you have a degree in computer forensics? I do not. Do you have a master's degree in computer forensics? No. Do you have a PhD? No. Have you ever taught in the field of computer forensics? I have not. Have you ever been published in the field? No. Have you ever been qualified in the state of Florida as an expert in computer forensics? No, I have not. Have you ever been qualified in any other state other than Florida as, as an expert in computer forensics? No. What training and education do you feel that you have to come in here and testify as to these videos and whether or not they're playing properly or not? Just that it's an identical copy from one to the other and that all that was done was literally just taken out the segments and the portions that we are looking at today. Okay. But did you not testify earlier that my knowledge told me that one of the videos was not was playing improperly? Yes. What is that based on? That's just based on my experience in dealing with video and... Oh, okay, but what experience do you have that would allow you to come in here and comment on these things? That, just, that's, I'm sorry. sorry. Just general experience with working with video. What, but what do you mean by general experience? Uh, tell us about it. Uh, well, video is something that I work with, uh, not on a daily basis, but, you know, it's a secondary part of my job. So you would agree with me that you're not a, an expert in computer forensics? That's true. And you've had no formalized training in computer forensics? No. So again, maybe I'm missing something. Tell us here what in your back background would allow you to come in here and testify about these videos and whether they're playing properly or improperly. Just the, well, one video that I had to compare to was the uh, this one here, as well as um, this one, it was played from its default player, played it one way, and I knew that when it opened in the default Windows Media Player that it, it looked different to me. Okay, but just because it looks different, does that mean that it's not playing properly? No, that doesn't mean that. So how, did, how is it that you're, you're basing an opinion, an opinion or you're rendering an opinion to this court that one of the videos was playing improperly? I want to know, based upon what, are you telling Judge Syracuse that the that object is raising his voice? No, no Overruled is just, okay, keep going. That that video was playing improperly, and I apologize, I didn't mean to raise my voice at you, but what is it in your background or your training that you're relying upon to tell this judge that that video is playing, playing improperly. Just past experience, uh, nothing okay. in particular. Keep saying Maybe that. not. Well, tell me what that past experience is. Share with all of us what that past experience is. Just playing a video, and knowing that it's not uh, something looks wrong about it. And when you play a movie, for example. Well, I mean, is there anything other than you play a movie and it appears that it's not playing properly? What no, in your education and training are you basing this opinion on? 
dealing with many different file types and trying to open them and convert them to different files. Okay, you would agree with me, would you not, that any person that opens files and, and tries to transfer files could do exactly what you're doing? Right? Yes, I agree. Right? Yes. So you're not planning to be an expert in computer forensics? No, I'm not. Judge, I, I'm going to object to his testimony. I don't see how he's qualified to start testifying as to this video is playing improperly. He has no formal background, no formal training. He has a general business degree from the University of South Florida. He's not, he doesn't have any degrees in computer forensics. He doesn't have a master's degree, a PhD. He's never taught, never been an expert. I, I'm objecting, Judge. He's not qualified to render an opinion to this court. Okay. Response? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, he doesn't have to be a computer forensics because he's not changing the video at all. All he's doing is copying the video and then he is he has taken out a segment of that video and he's isolated that segment. That is all he's done. He hasn't changed the, the video itself. He hasn't enhanced the video itself. It's merely, merely a copying of that video and using a different software that allows him to segment that particular section. And, and when the court sees it, you'll see it's the exact same video, not altered in any way, uh, but he's able to segment a very important section of that video for the defense. Judge, may I respond briefly? He indicated that he changed one of the videos to an MP4. He is changing formats. Yeah. He is they're going to want this court to rely upon this witness's testimony as to these videos when clearly he's not qualified to. And he's going to say, well, this was playing improperly. We already said that. Judge, I'm asking this court to deny this testimony, Judge. He is nowhere, anywhere near of being an expert in computer forensics. If you're going to have somebody come in here and start talking about videos and whether they're playing properly or not playing properly and whether they were downloaded properly, you need somebody that's qualified, and clearly Mr. Sacco is not. Well, <clears throat> if I'm hearing you correctly, Mr. Escobar, you're not asking me to treat him as an expert, are you? Absolutely not. So you don't want me to take into consideration his opinion on the, uh, the video? No, I, he's, he's not going to give an opinion on the video. Oh, well, he said it was playing improperly. Well, and that's why he used another software, because that software gave it a clear view, and that software actually allowed him to segment a, a certain section that you can actually even see in the government's disk, but not as clearly, because they were using an outdated media player. In fact, his testimony was very clear. If you had used the media player classic, which was an upgraded media player, you would have been able to see the same thing that he is showing in his software. That was his testimony. All right, well, let's, let's back it up and cut through the use of the word. When you say improperly, you just mean that it wasn't the most efficient way to view it? Correct. Improperly doesn't mean that it was wrong or bad, just it wasn't optimal, right? Well, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't appear to be playing the file um, as it is intended. As intended? All right. Could you see it more? Could you see it more clearly in the other in the other file that you transferred it to? I think clearly is a bad word, and I, I don't feel. Like I don't know because I haven't seen it yet. Or, or, or I haven't. Um. <clears throat> Judge, again, I reiterate, he is not qualified to render these opinions and give this testimony. I'm not concerned as much with his opinion. I'm not. I'm not going to consider that. I think Mr. Escobar wants me to consider the video. Is there a reason I shouldn't see the video? Yes, Judge, because he is downloading and changing formats that this witness is indicating it's better. Better to whom it is the question, Judge. Like I said, he's not an expert witness, so why would the court rely upon him testifying, well, it's, it's better in this format as opposed to this format? All right, well, we've been going for an hour, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is take a break, and I'll let you each give me a pitch as to why I should or shouldn't see it in the format that it's set versus the format that we originally watched it in, because I don't know why that format's any better than this format, and I'm going to go see if there's any, what Professor Earhart has to say about this. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll take a 10-minute recess. All right.